Hello. Today we'll be going over the basics of Outback Power's automatic generator start feature. In most off-grid systems, generators are a common add-on since it provides backup power when the sun isn't shining. AC or DC generators that support a two-wire start may work in conjunction with the Outback's AGS function. Alrighty then, let's see how it works. AGS is a built-in May 3 feature, and is where it gets programmed. AGS has several start conditions that can be programmed to automatically start the generator. Once one of these start conditions are met, AGS will utilize the auxiliary output of an Outback device, such as the FX inverter, or a charge controller to create a voltage signal that can then power a normally opened relay. The relay gets wired to the generator two-wire start circuit. Once the relay gets the 12-volt signal, we close the relay contacts, creating a short circuit to the generator sense wires, which causes it to start. Once the stop conditions are met, AGS will stop the signal causing the relay to open and ultimately turning off the generator. Although AGS was designed to work with a two-wire start generator, you may use a generator start control module or GSCM to convert a three-wire start gen to two-wire. Here's one made by Atkinson. More info under the description. On a side note, it is important not to confuse AGS with GenAlert. GenAlert is another basic built-in inverter function that can automatically start a generator, but offers limited options. However, it may not be used in conjunction with AGS. There are six available start conditions. Let's go through them. Voltage start. This will start the generator under a low battery voltage condition and will run through a full charge cycle based on your inverter battery charger settings. Once the charger is engaged, it will need to meet the absorbed target and absorbed time before it shuts off the generator. Voltage start, however, will skip the float voltage and time. Load start. This will start the generator whenever your total load wattage exceeds the start set point and amount of time delay. The generator will stop once the AC load has dropped below the stop set point and amount of time delay. State of charge percentage start. This start condition only works when a FlexNet DC is present. The generator can be started based on the battery state of charge rather than the voltage. Note. This feature may become less accurate if the system routinely cycles without obtaining a full charge for long periods of time. Must run schedule. This will start and stop the generator based on a preset daily time of the day. You may set individual times for weekdays and weekends. Quiet time schedule. This is a period of time when the generator should not run due to noise or other reasons. Note, two minute voltage start overrides this function. Generator exercise schedule. This is a period when the generator is scheduled to run briefly and is considered to be a preventive maintenance exercise. Thank you for watching.